Craig, um, founder of Otto. We thought we'd do a few things to get everyone comfortable with Otto that go beyond an instruction manual. I wanted to redo the Atomic because I love my Atomic, my friends love their Atomics. The industrial designers that, that I've been working with for four years came up with something that really pays homage to that original form and concept. The aesthetic jumps out, but more importantly the machine is about the performance. The industrial designer and I actually went to a barista school together and we sat in a barista school and learnt the basics of coffee, of roasting and grinding and, and really started the project at the basis of what coffee was all about. Otto is, is a style of machine that does require practice. It's not, it's not a push button machine that you'll get home and make a perfect coffee the first time. The machine's really been tailored around espresso coffee, around just getting two really good shots, around getting some great pressure into your milk and getting some really good texture and, and plenty of heat into your milk. As soon as you put it on the element, it's going to get really hot. The black handles are heat insulated, so once it's on the stove, everything that's silver is going to get hot, so stay away from touching the silver stuff. So grab. Grab the group handle, it's really strong, you can pick the machine up with it, it will not break. The jug, it's not a cup, don't drink out of it. Everything that's silver is going to get really hot, so, so use it as a jug. The spout's opposite the handle, it's at 180 degrees from the handle. So when you're pouring, you're always pouring at that, at that angle, so you're always pouring level with the angle of the handle. There are two baskets. Choosing the right basket is going to be really key. So have a look at them. One of them's got hundreds of holes in it. The other one's only got 30 holes in the middle. If you're using a really fine espresso grind, then you want to be using the basket with loads of holes in it. If you're actually using something that's pre-ground, particularly from a supermarket or a store, you're probably going to need to use the other basket with just a couple of holes. So there's a tamper in your kit, grab the tamper. When you are tamping your grind, really sort of put a bit of pressure on it. Lean on it as though you're really leaning on a wall. It's really important because what'll happen is it'll, it'll hold the water up in the head for the right amount of time that it'll reach the right temperature. So just slot the silicon mat in, in over the base. What that'll do is it'll insulate the jug so the jug doesn't get too hot. The silicon mat's got a little reservoir in it, so you'll find when you pull it out, it won't be a problem. The leftover coffee that drips will just hit the reservoir and you're ready to do your milk. Use the silicon sleeve to adjust it so you can get the jug right up under and into it. The milk's done. Turn the stove off, pour the milk into the espresso, give the steam nozzle a wipe and then just open the steam nozzle. While ever there is steam coming out of the nozzle, there's still pressure in the machine. So you've got your shots, you've finished your milk, turn the stove off and enjoy the coffee.